overnight, President Trump acknowledging the coronavirus death toll could be significantly higher than the 60,000 deaths he warned about just two weeks ago. We're going to lose anywhere from 75, 80 to 100,000 people. That's a horrible thing. We shouldn't lose one person over this. Still claiming his actions have prevented the death toll from soaring into the millions. In a Fox News town hall Sunday night in the shadow of the Lincoln Memorial, the president also saying he's very confident a coronavirus vaccine will be ready by the end of 2020. The doctors would say, well, you shouldn't say that. I'll say what I think. That timeline more optimistic than the 12 to 18 month predictions from most public health officials. And President Trump's insisting the intelligence community did not alert him about the coronavirus threat until late January, despite officials telling NBC News the Trump administration received warnings weeks earlier. On January 23rd, I was told that there could be a virus coming in. They said it very matter-of-factly, it was not a big deal. The president who's pushing for a quick economic recovery delivering a note of caution that not everyone will be able to return to their lives immediately. Anybody over 60, you could say 65, but let's make it 60, we have to protect those people and we have to watch it and maybe they stay back longer. And when questioned about his frequent attacks on the media, President Trump comparing himself to Abraham Lincoln. I am greeted with a hostile press, the likes of which no president has ever seen. Uh, the closest would be that gentleman right up there. They always said, Lincoln, nobody got treated worse than Lincoln. I believe I am treated worse. Meanwhile, Vice President Mike Pence, who faced fierce criticism for not wearing a mask during a visit to the Mayo Clinic last week, violating its policy, now admitting even though he's regularly tested for the virus, that decision was a mistake. I didn't think it was necessary, um, uh, but I should have worn the mask at the Mayo Clinic. Also today, the Senate will reopen on Capitol Hill, even as the D.C. area remains under stay-at-home orders. The House will stay shut for now amid those coronavirus concerns. Both House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell in a rare joint statement this weekend declined an offer from the White House to make rapid tests available for Congress, saying that those tests should be directed to the front lines instead.